Welcome back KCC Biology 2024 revision this is your studio smart learners studio hyphen kiongozi and I am your teacher Mr Wilfred we continue with our revisions i think today i have around uh, three questions of course they may have a b roman 1 roman 2 to discuss with you the first question one the following is the dental formula the following is the dental formula the following is the dental formula of a certain mammal of a certain mammal the following is the dental formula of a certain mammal we have i small i we have 0 over 3 small c 0 1 then we have pm small letters 3 3 and then finally we have molars 3 3 this is in scissors on the upper jaw we have 0 and the lower jaw 3 canines on the upper jaw 0 lower jaw 1 premolars upper jaw 3 lower jaw 3 and uh, molars upper jaw 3 lower jaw 3 a roman 1 state the likely mode state the likely mode state the likely mode of feeding state the likely mode of feeding for the mammal for the mammal the likely mode of feeding for this mammal is herbivorous herbivorous so this mammal is an herbivore so don't say herbivore when you say herbivore you mean the and the mammal itself but the mode of feeding is herbivorous. Something else before we go to the next Roman 2 question. Remember we have a difference between mode of feeding and mode of modes of nutrition. In modes of nutrition we talked about heterotrophic and autotrophic. But mode of feeding, this is what we talk about. But most of these KCSC papers, especially the 2023 KCSC paper 1, they were giving mark for when you are responding to mode of feeding as same as mode of nutrition. But I think... You need to just know clearly that mode of feeding is different from mode of nutrition. Modes of nutrition are two. We have heterotrophic and autotrophic. But modes of feeding we have several. We have like three. Herbivorous, we have carnivorous, and we have omnivorous. Roman 2. Give a reason for your answer. Give a reason for your answer. Of course, the answer above in A, Roman 1, above. Give a reason for your answer. The reason is drafted from these zeros you see here. Oh, oh. So, these jaws lack, lack of, lack of upper incisors and canines. And canines. That is the reason they lack upper incisors and canines and actually that is where we will find the dust uh, not the dust but the the honey pad you'll learn about it in our subsequent videos question b still one explain how the carnation teeth explain how the carnation teeth carnation teeth correct spelling carnation teeth of a carnivore are adapted to their functions to their function to their function so carnation teeth for things or organisms like uh, the the dogs the, the carnivores are special teeth that are from premolars and molars actually the last ones the molars they are specialized in a way and that is what we are being asked to state here they have sharp edges so you'll give the adaptation then you give to its function adaptation to its function this one could be two marks adaptation to its function so we say they have sharp edges have sharp edges that is an adaptation sharp edges sharp edges to now to the function to slice to slice flesh they feed on flesh to slice flesh 
and crush bones and crush bones so we have given the adaptation to its function question 2 we are done with question 1 of course a a student a student a student collected collected an organism a student collected an organism and observed and observed the following features the following features you can as well say characteristics characteristics uh, simple eyes just listing them simple eyes this is what the student saw maybe that could be you we have four pairs of legs four pairs of walking legs there's also three or oh, sorry two body parts two body parts these are the three features the student are so let us see what the questions are asking state roman one states states the class class to which state the class to which the organism the organism belongs this is classification 2 in form 3 whereby you will have you looked at the two phyla of uh, animals that is codata and arthropoda and this one sounds like it's arthropoda you also looked at the classes of these two phyla i will be showing you as we move on what we expect now this one these are characteristics of a class in uh, phyla arthropoda called arachnida arachnida this one so this organism was an arachnid but the class is arachnida class is arachnida the organism is an arachnid an arachnid this one is not important in this question then you are supposed to give the reason roman 2 give a reason give oh, sorry not a reason but give an example give uh, an example give an example of an organism give an example of an organism uh, uh, in this class in this class so there is that formula that i taught you in a given lesson tss for arachnid you talk about tss t stands for tick the first s is a spider and the second one is scorpion check on the spellings these are the three members of arachnids they wanted just one example but it's good we have listed a number of them b so that was 2a we go to 2b question 2b 2b reads name the kingdom name the kingdom remember we have a video we did on the kingdoms all the kingdoms the five of them to which name the kingdom to which plasmodium plasmodium belongs plasmodium is a protozoan and uh, it belongs to the kingdom protista and mostly they also allow us to write this terminology as protista it's allowed in most marking schemes remember we have other kingdoms this is a kingdom number two when you arrange them from the smallest to the largest is the second uh, kingdom after kingdom monera then we have kingdom fungi followed by kingdom plantae and finally kingdom animalia we have a video for that matter question three name the causative agents of the following diseases these are human diseases human diseases i will refer you to form three work and especially reproduction some of them in ecology and also in form two we have also respiratory diseases but now let us see what the question wants us to respond to a we have trichomoniasis 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 is caused by trichomoniasis trichomoniasis vaginalis 
Then as you write this one, make sure you observe the principles of binomial uh, nomenclature. You write them under the principles and the rules of binomial nomenclature. This one is a reproductive uh, uh, a reproductive uh, a disease. Then number two, amoebic dysentery. Amoebic, amoebic dysentery. Amoebic dysentery is caused by an organism called entamoeba. Entamoeba histolytica. Histolytica. Again, observe the rules of binomial nomenclature. Entamoeba histolytica is the causative agent of uh, amoebic dysentery. Then we have candidiasis. See? Candidiasis. It's called Candida. Candida albicans. Candida again, the principles of binomial nomenclature. Candida albicans, also a reproductive disease. We have genital herbs. Genital herbs, D. Genital. We have genital herbs. Genital herbs, also caused by herbs. Herbs. Simplex, go study form 3 work, especially in reproduction. You'll find this one genital herbs, most of which ones. Those ones that are, are reproductive system diseases. There is also gonorrhea. E. Gonorrhea, single L. Single, is it? Double R. Gonorrhea is caused by Neisseria. This is a bacteria. Caused by Neisseria, double S. Neisseria. Gonorrhea. Neisseria gonorrhea. Check on the spellings, principles of binomial nomenclature again at play and finally we have syphilis f syphilis syphilis is caused by tre treponema treponema pallidum treponema pallidum so lana thank you very much for watching my video you can watch this as many times as possible share the link to your friends Smart Learners Studio hyphen Kiongozi and all the best as you revise for your exams. I know 2024 is going to be a year for your breakthrough success in all your preparations. Thank you. Goodbye.